Yo, hey guys, this is just a quick uh, tutorial on how to set up input overlay to work with a DS4 controller using an input mapper. So yeah, I'm just gonna jump straight into it. So first of all, go to, uh, uh, of course, I'm gonna put all the links and stuff in the description of the uh, video, but uh, yeah, just go to this link and uh, go to the downloads, like click on the download button. From there, scroll down a little bit and make sure you uh, download the zip, not the source files, just uh, the actual zip. This, so uh, 4.8b Windows 32 uh, 64 in my case. Just go ahead and download that. Also, I posted uh, some files on my own website, which you can download as well. So you want to use the DS4 on score v2.png and uh, gamepad ds4 underscore 4.8 underscore alt.ini. Of course, this will be in the video description as well. So go ahead and download those. Actually, it might be better to just uh, right click and the uh, safety link as all right just go to the input mapper uh, websites go to downloads input mapper uh, 1.6.1 1. this is the latest stable version And go ahead and install it as well. All right. So with all of that uh, downloaded, just open up the uh, zip file just downloaded. Um, just a quick one as well. Like the some of the uh, graphics that I made, they are in the submitted folder as well, but they are a bit uh, outdated. So it would be better to just uh, download the presets that I made from uh, my own website. Those will be up to date pretty much. Just drag and drop the uh, plugins folder. So the plugin folder, you want to copy those files over to your OBS install. So just go to wherever you have OBS Studio installed. And just drag and drop the files into the OBS Studio install. That, that should uh, install the plugin. Because I've already done that, so I'm going to skip this skip. But uh, yeah, you will have to do that to get it uh, installed and work with OBS. So now you should have all the files that you will need to get the thing started. All right, so assuming that you have uh, the plugin installed right now, as well as uh, Input Mapper. Basically, what Input Mapper does is uh, it pulls Windows into thinking that your DS4 is a uh, 360 controller, which is needed to get input overlay in OBS uh, working properly. All right, so to get uh, stuff set up in the input mapper, first just create a new profile and then switch over to, uh, make sure to save it and then switch over to it. That should get things working in the uh, OBS. Just a uh, preview. So with that set up, like it will show up in OBS, all the button presses and stuff like that. So I, here I'm actually pressing the share button, but it shows up as the uh, touchpad. Don't worry about that right now. We'll set it up so that when you actually hit the uh, touchpad, it will show up that the touchpad is being pressed. Let me just show how to uh, configure that stuff. 
also there's uh, one thing that you want to disable, which is a uh, trackpad as mouse. Because otherwise, when you uh, slide your thumb or finger over the, uh, over the trackpads, it will actually act uh, as a mouse. So just to go ahead and disable that. Next up here, are going to make a, mac a macro. This will basically uh, remap the touchpad as a uh, as an actual button because the 360 controller doesn't actually have a touchpad, right? So we're just gonna go ahead and do that. All right. So we create a new macro. We scroll down to uh, touchpad, click. After that's selected, go to macro. Change this to press. And then select the back button. Then we click wait for release. Change it back to release. And then we click on the back button again. And it's OK. So we now have a new macro. So every time I press the... Uh, Actually, let me save. So right now, every time I press the I press the trackpad button, it will show up in OBS. And also, if you want, you can disable the back button, like the actual share button. Just change it to unbound. So now when you... Actually, let me save. So now when you hit the share button, it doesn't do anything. But when you press the uh, trackpad, it acts as the uh, actually as the trackpad. So basically, we fooled the uh, input overlay to think that when we press the trackpad, it's actually the share button. But it's displaying it as the trackpad. So it's a bit, uh, it's a bit messy, but it works pretty much. That's all I need to know. All right, let me just uh, show how to get the input overlay in uh, OBS working. So just go to sources, add a new source, input overlay. Since I've already done that, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, edit the empty input overlay plugin. So just uh, select the image that you downloaded, browse to the uh, ini. And make sure that you select gamepad overlay, otherwise it won't recognize it as a uh, gamepad. So that's pretty much it. Now it's uh, now everything works as intended. Also, if you just want it to work like a uh, like a regular DS4 without the uh, trackpad for any other game that doesn't have a trackpad uh, uh, on the controller. Let's go ahead and download the uh, the 4.8 version of the ini without the underscore alt, and it should just uh, work as a regular controller. All right, guys. I'm sorry for the uh, messy tutorial, but that, that's pretty much how we uh, set it up. All right. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful.